So let's get right into this makeover. This was a boring, simple bookshelf that was on top of another dresser. I took out the glass doors and then I took off this backing because it had tears in it. It also had holes in it and felt on it, which was extremely sticky. So I thought I was gonna keep it and salvage this, but I ended up just taking it off, cleaning it up, and then making a new back because that one was just ruined. So here is what it looks like without the back on. I vacuumed, cleaned it all up, and then used my orbital sander to scuff sand the entire piece. Now this is laminate and laminate smells when you sand it. Now when I put it on to its back, I noticed that there was lots of tape marks, which was really gross, and so I sanded those off and noticed that there was some laminate just chipped off on the corners there, so I put some wood filler on there and that worked out and sanded off that tape. Once all that was done, I gave it a good clean and started to spray gray Zinzer bin 123. Now this gray Zinzer bin 123 is really good for coverage and I was actually making it into two colors for this piece as you will see very soon. Once that was on, I did about two coats. I then measured for the back for the new piece that I had. Now I had some MDF sheets in my workshop, so I used one of those, measured it out, and then cut it to size. Once I had done that, I primed the entire backing because I was also going to be painting it. And at the very end of this, I added a transfer, so it did need to be primed and painted. So here's what it looks like with the two coats of primer. It's still drying. It got some really good coverage, so I was happy about that. Once that I had done that and it had dried, I sanded it with 400 grit sandpaper and then painted it in this beautiful, brand new country chic paint color called Persimmon. So I wanted to show off the color, but I did have other plans for this bookshelf. And so I sprayed it in the orange, and this is what it looks like. So I wanted to take pictures to show off this color, but like I said, I had other plans because I couldn't find another piece like this to do the actual vision that I had in my head. So this shelf unit actually got two makeovers. So I did not seal the orange, so I was able to paint over it. I lightly scuff sanded it and then painted it in the black, which is called Licorice by Country Sheet Paint. So this is what it looks like now. Now here's the part where you probably have been waiting for is the wood panel doors. I wanted doors on this piece, so we measured out what size we wanted the width of the panels. So always measure how wide you want the door panels. So here we're just cutting the length of the doors, the two pieces, and then you need two short pieces for the width. So we're just cutting here and always make sure that you do have just a little bit on the ends, just a little bit extra so that you can always trim later on and get the exact size. Because if it's too short, then you have to start all over again with a new piece. So it's always good to have that extra little bit on the ends. Once we had measured out and cut the long pieces, we now measured out and cut the short pieces for the width. So the, as you can see, that's the size I wanted the panels. And again, we put extra on the ends and make sure your saw blade is down when you're done. So we cut off the ends just to clean them up. And because we had that extra little bit, we were able to cut more and completely measure each piece to be exactly the same. Now every door panel on your piece will be different sizes. So I won't put the size of mine in, in the description because your cabinet is gonna be completely different. 
So here's an idea of what we're, what we're working with and what it looks like. So always measure just to make sure, again, that you've got the right size, that it all fits together. That's the short piece for the width, and then you've got the longer pieces. So the width is actually a little wider than the sides. And then we use the Craig jig to uh, attach this with the screws. It was super easy to use. And you can get this off of Amazon. You can get a large kit that comes with a clamp, but we actually preferred it without the clamp that we could actually use our own clamp and position it where we wanted it. And this is what it's gonna look like. We ended up using one of these claw grips, which worked out much better. So we glued each piece together and used screws as well so that it was sturdy, durable, and extra attachment. And this is where we're just putting the screws in. And that's how we attached it. And it worked out perfectly. And this is how it's starting to look so that you have an idea of what you want for your door panels. Because like I said, each unit is going to be different measurements. So once you have the idea of what you want, then you can see and measure the width and length of what you want on your door panels. You might not want them as wide as mine. So I sealed the entire cabinet, sanded down the door panels to make them nice and smooth. And then the backing, I added a transfer. And this transfer is by Redesign with Prima and it's called Alberry. And I thought it was so pretty and perfect for this piece. All you have to do is this transfer is a whole transfer but comes in two sheets. Place it where you want, like this one. And then you're going to use the tool that it came with to rub the transfer on, peel back the plastic very slowly, making sure the transfer is stuck to the surface, and then you can peel off the rest of the plastic. So I wanted burlap on in the middle of the door panels, so I measured out the burlap sheets to where I wanted them, and this is what they look like. So I have two burlap sheets here for the two doors. We put them in place and then used the staple gun to staple the burlap. And then I'm going to trim off the edges to make it look tidy. We added some hinges and legs, hairpin legs that I got off of Amazon. The hinges are from Lowe's. I'll put them in my description. And this is what the whole piece looks like. It's so pretty. I still do have to trim a little bit of the burlap off. As you can see, there's some string hanging out, but this is the idea that you can see how it turned out and it turned out absolutely amazing. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that video. I think this bookshelf turned out absolutely amazing. I got to show off Country Chic Paint's new color, Persimmon, which is the orange. It is so beautiful and bright. It, I think it just looks really cute. But like I said, I did have a vision for this piece and I couldn't find another bookshelf to do it on. So I, like you saw, I, I painted it black and I added the burlap doors. So I will put all of the details in my description and your any piece that you're adding door panels to won't be the same size. So always make sure that you're measuring and figuring out how wide you want your door panel trims to be. But again, I will put this in my description and thank you so much for watching. I'll be coming out with the Ugly Duckling Challenge video for next Saturday. So I am really excited about that. And stay tuned, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support and thanks again. Have a great day.